and welcome to Fashion Book. Today we'll be drawing together some abstract grumpy cute cats. We have a cat laying right here with us. He's ignoring us uh, for now and um, we'll just keep drawing and pretend he's not here for the moment. Okay, so I actually already draw some of these grumpy cats I'm talking about, like this one right here. Um, to draw this you really uh, don't need any kind of drawing talent, skills or abilities. Uh, you can literally make this even if you can't draw a straight line. So if you're a beginner um, or if you don't know how to draw or can't draw then this is the perfect video for you. So I have this one right here but I also have three more um, kind of on the same theme. So this one right here is on a little bit um, bigger canvas um, and finally this is my last one right here. So I'll be drawing with you the fourth and final canvas um, for this set. Okay, so before we start, um, let's just briefly go over the materials that we'll be using. Um, I have this acrylic paint, it's in different colors just with small tubes and I also have bigger tubes of some colors so I have a little bit more cream, um, a little bit more white and I also have this black one right here and really the one that you will need more of is the black one. Okay, so then we'll need some brushes obviously. Um, I use this big flat brush uh, to put the ground coat on the canvas. Um, then I use this other one um, to kind of fill in the shapes on the canvas and it's again um, a flat brush. And finally I use this little round brush uh, for the outline. So these are really the three um, kind of types of brushes that we'll be using uh, for the most part. Okay, and finally you'll also need a canvas. Um, so I started prepping one right here. Um, this one is just a regular square canvas. Um, as you can see I've already applied a ground color on it. Uh, you should do that before starting to paint. Um, you can choose any color that you like as long as it's not white because it's going to be too bright. So we want to do maybe something with beige, gray, blue, whatever you want, whatever matches your home decor um, will work. Make sure to apply this ground color to your canvas before starting to paint and then let it dry. To do that I use this big flat brush, it just makes it easier and faster. Okay, so if you have all these materials we can go ahead and get started. If not, you can check our blog post and there you're going to find links to all these things. So once our background color is dry, we can go ahead and start painting.
Okay, so now we have a rough draft of our abstract grumpy cats and it's time to outline with black, fix a few colors here and there and just do some final touches uh, before completing this painting. Okay, so these are our final grumpy cats. Basically, I um, let the paint dry and then with the black outline, I um, dragged down this beige cat right here and outlined every different color that I used. For the black one, I did the same thing. I also added some eyebrows because I wanted a little bit more color um, and kind of fixed the shapes as I uh, was working on it, the idea is that with the outline you can kind of get cleaner shapes and just um, finish this painting. Great job on completing this do-it-yourself abstract cranky but cute cats painting project. Here behind me I have the four grumpy cats paintings and this one in particular is the one that we worked on together. So after completing this, I have just four key takeaways I'd like to share with you. The first one is to wait for your paint to dry. So after applying your ground color, wait for it to dry before starting to paint. And after you paint all the different shapes, let them sit for a while and make sure that the paint is dry before you start outlining them. Otherwise, the colors will get messy and the result is not going to be that good. Key takeaway number two. Try outlining your shapes with black paint. Here you can see that I outlined everything with black paint and it really makes the colors pop. So you can turn a plain painting into a more eye-catching piece. Key takeaway number three. If you ended up making a mess, then do not worry. Acrylic paint is water soluble, so you can wash everything and clean up everything after you're done. And finally, number four, have fun with it. If you make a mistake, it's not a big deal, you can very easily fix it. The idea is to express yourself while having fun, so get a warm cup of tea, put on some nice music and just enjoy some time for yourself while painting. Make sure to subscribe to our blog as well as our YouTube channel to stay up to date on different projects we're working on. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.